Hello everybody and welcome, my name is Esther Ryan and we're going to be playing some more Civ 6 with a Civ that is violently pink. Look at that colour. That is a wonderful colour. If you want to join in with the map, the rules are as usual. Come to Discord, you can find the exact save file that you can copy, paste and put onto your machine in your own leisure. And you can literally play this exact map. And to those with a little bit more of a retro style, here are the stats that you need. We are playing a mirror map. So this is a really small map. I'll explain why in a second. We're playing Deity, Standard, every single mode turned on. There's the game seed, there's the map seed. I've got abundant resources on. Yeah, that should be it. And we're playing as Eleanor of Aquitaine, specifically the French version rather than the British version this time. I very rarely play as French Eleanor because quite frankly, I love English Eleanor. She's really good and I love Royal Navy Dockyards, but no, we shall use the Chateau this time round. And this is why we're playing this map. At the time of recording, it's about 24 to 30 hours away from Babylon being released. And like every YouTuber, I'm going to need to drop what I'm doing and just jump on the Babylon bandwagon because, quite frankly, that's what everybody will be wanting to watch. And it seems like it's going to be a little bit broken in terms of how it's uh, been put together as well. So, yeah, certainly going to be of interest for a lot of people to watch that one. So I needed a playthrough that was a little bit small. I love playing Eleanor of Aquitaine. We haven't played her in a little while, but just a nice little four player mirror map. This could be quite fun. We're playing on Deity, standard speed, so this is going to be intriguing as usual. And I don't know what sort of victory type we're going to go for. I don't know if we're going to use the Court of Love. Don't forget the Court of Love is the best ability in Civ 6. People who don't think that Eleanor of Aquitaine is S++ tier, she's better than Babylon. Like, there is no one that beats Eleanor of Aquitaine. If you play her right, oh my god, she is just brilliant. And the Court of Love, I don't know if we're going to sort of do a, a sort of non-combat domination strategy and take over the world with the Court of Love. I don't know if that's going to be what happens. I don't know if we're going to stick to a more of a cultural side and go for a tourism victory. I don't know if we're going to go super passive and go for a diplomatic victory. Who knows? But what I am going to be focusing on is settling wide and getting as much culture as I can, as quickly as I can. I also want to look to get a religion as soon as I can as well. In terms of settling space, it's been a very strange start. There isn't a single tile that I can see apart from this one and then these ones over here that have anywhere near food that I would want to grow a city with. So we're going to have to go for a pretty high production start on this one. And I think I'm going to have to just, just, just absorb the production. If I cross the river, then I can use that one culture per turn, which I am going to do. That makes it a little bit easier for me. Get the warrior just to go and settle. Okay, I've settled away from the sea, which is sort of okay, because we're not playing England. We're playing France this time, so that's fine. I keep forgetting that. But there we go. Paris! It's been settled. I've got the culture per turn coming in. That does help. As I say, we want to get a religion. Uh, I don't know where that religion is going to be, but what I do know is that mining is going to be important because I've got absolutely just hills for days around me. And we are going to go for a scout start because population is going to be an absolute driving force here. The mirror maps tend to have quite a lot of tribal huts. We're going to go and have a look and see what we can find. Already the barbarians look like they are nuts. That's a little bit worrying, but it's okay. We can go and get some... Uh, Eureka's from killing barbarians. That's all lovely. Um, all modes are on. Apocalypse mode is on. Secret Societies is on. Golden Age or Dramatic Ages is on. And the uh, Tech and Civic Shuffle is also on. So this is going to be a mad map. Oh, a flood. A flood has given more food in those tiles. Okay, that is quite good. That means we've got some options if we want to go over in that direction. Let's just heal that quickly for a turn. Make sure I can kill it in one go like that. Oh, or not. Apparently, uh, let's go for another scout and we'll travel along the rivers and see what we can find. I'm going to see if we can get like quite a nice quick game on this one. If I can play this really quickly, then, you know, we can play Babylon really quickly. So I'm just going to be talking and sort of clicking as I go along, really. There is the Sanguine Pact. Do we want to have Eleanor with vampires? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say we're going to look for the Void Singers. We're going to keep it as an option, but for now... I'm going to go for Pingala into Paris and I want to get it to in a place where I can um, see if I can get myself holy sites. Now, Nganzugumu is an amazing city-state, specifically if you look to build lots of army because you can use it to just sort of um, 
to buy army in at an incredibly large pace. So I don't know if that's what we want to do, actually, to be fair. There's another encampment over there. Maybe I should send my army in that direction. And there's the Code of Laws. God King in Discipline. There's only four people on this map, so we don't want to worry um sorry four people on this map so yeah yeah getting religions is really important getting a pantheon is really important because hopefully i mean there'll still be a good pantheon left because only three of the things can be taken if people jump on them what does this tree look like what have we got here mysticism there's no point rushing that particularly unless i want to get the oracle which might be a decent start here if i rush the oracle with pingala we could almost guarantee we get a religion for ourselves and it helps us to get great writers per turn so maybe that's not a bad idea actually let's do that okay writing and sailing both of those are interesting options but they're not what i wanted i want to get the eureka to get a religion going uh do i get a builder in to improve some of these mines and then i've got a little bit more production coming in although it's not really working any of these tiles at the moment i did want one builder in there i think three scouts would be a bit greedy it's the first tribal hut considering i've got so many scouts it's been quite a disappointing Tribal hut start so far. Void singers. Okay, it's annoying because it doesn't actually tell you what else is being done. Um, but that is population in Paris. Good. That is wonderful. So we, I think void singers is going to be good because it gives us old god obelisks, which gives us more slots. So let's do that. Um, we like the idea of that because the court of love, the more great works we can put down, the better, really. So that is lovely. And we've got a population in our city, which means we're working a little bit more stuff. I mean, gold is what we're working at the moment. I'm not entirely sure that's the best option, but we'll let it do what it's going to do. Ah, candy. We've met them first as well. Irrigation. Uh, Eureka, we can do pretty easily, actually. So that will give us a relic. Relics, actually, very handy. We'll be able to get ourselves a bit of a pantheon going. Cyrus, oh, lovely. Very aggressive Cyrus. Okay, well, we've got um, we've got at least one person that we need to worry about. Let's send a delegation. I want to be friends with everybody. I don't really want to get into a war state super quickly. Ah, same secret society, Void Singers. All right, so Cyrus might be pretty good. They also have 98 Thaif per turn coming in already, which is absolutely insane. So yeah, it's, um, it's going to be that sort of game, I think. So there's Irrigation boosted. Where is Irrigation? Here. All right, so, so far, yeah, we've had no luck finding where Stonehenge is, which is a little bit of a problem. Do we get the old god obelisk in quickly? Is it worth it, or do I get a settler out first? I think it's actually worth getting a settler as quickly as we can, really. And Armar, yep, the game is definitely pushing us towards a religion, if we can help it. Um, I don't know why... Oh yeah, because I have just I just did irrigation, didn't I? So I was wondering why that's happening. But yeah, okay, so we've got two city-states over here. Government Plaza, we can probably do that. All right, it's not here. So which way have I got to go for these ones? Irrigation and animal, hus oh, animal husbandry, this direction. Let's go for that then. Very strange tree so far. It's craftsmanship boosted. And mysticism is now at the point where I need to switch over to something else. Um, early empire, let's get the governor in. Extra governors are never a problem, and I don't need to force working this anymore, and I don't need to force working that anymore. Let's just see, <laughs> see if we can grow Paris. It's difficult. It's a lack of food. Very tough. Want some moth flooding? Lovely. Loads and loads of food, and a pantheon. Here we go. What have we got? Have we got settlers? No. There is no settler pantheon available, unfortunately. That's okay. We knew that would probably happen. Right, let's see if anybody's getting great profits. Nope, they're also not getting great writers either. So we've still got the option to get Divine Spark, I think, in order to get a religion quicker, but also to get great writers quicker as well. It's not a bad idea. I think we may stick the Divine Spark. I quite like it. We can get another builder in. We could get breathtaking appeal or something like that. But no, I quite like Divine Spark. It's really handy. I like it. Actually, what we're going to do is I'm going to quickly just put an envoy in the candy, get a relic every time I discover a natural wonder. That's really handy. And it also reveals a large chunk of the map for us. If I have a look at the scout. Uh, no, no tribal huts. God, for a double scout start, we have had no luck with tribal huts at all. Okay, it did actually manage to get friends with uh, Persia, which is quite handy, actually. Which direction do I want to go in? I kind of need a, some horses just to make sure I've got a bit of an army. So I'm going to go up this direction first of all. Settle towards Persia. See if I can help myself that way. Um, 
The Oracle in 33 turns is proving, I mean, that's going to be almost impossible for us to get quickly. There's Astrology, though. Okay, so we finally found it. Um, I don't know if we're going to be anywhere near first up in order to build the damn thing, but we'll see if we can get another settler out and running at the moment. I love how Persia already have four cities. God, they were did not hang around this particular map. And yeah, okay, we've got barbarians everywhere as well. It's fine. I'm just letting them kill themselves on my walls. And the question is going to be: Am I going to am I going to be able to keep the city? Twelve era score in the space of ten turns. I mean, it's I can't just leave my guy around. So I've got to settle. But I'm going to settle on the desert in order to just give myself that little bit of extra era score. But oh, this is going to be a tough one. La Rochelle, I need you to really just get moving as quickly as possible, really. Oh, a meteor shower. Sure. That's right. That's literally right by my land. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's like the game wants to give me some help here. It's like, you know what? I gave you a tough scar start. Here's, here's some stuff. Oh, I really hope. I really hope we can take advantage of that. Anyone getting a religion just yet? Oh, yeah, Persia. Of course they bloody are, Persia are going for it. Oh, and they're building Stonehenge as well. So Persia are gonna easily get the first one. Oh, and Ethiopia as well. So we're gonna have a huge faithy start. What have they gone? Oh, they've gone Void Singers as well. So it's gonna be just a Void Singery map, I think. Lovely. What I am gonna do though, is levy Candy's military. Because A, that gives me some era score doing that. But B, it gives me a little bit of an army. So that when La Rochelle inevitably um, rebels against me. I've actually got some warriors that I can use to to take it over again. It's it's I like to think smart thinking. I don't think it is. God the barbs are absolutely brutal on this map. Oh they're appearing from everywhere. Like I can't actually run from them. Right that scout's gonna die but I can at least get tribal hut. Oh the unit's been healed. It's kind of a waste of a tribal hut but at least it gives me a little bit of error score I guess. Okay there is a heavy chariot at least gives me again some army for when La Rochelle is about to flip which is in a turn or two here. Interestingly Persia's religion is feed the world which is exactly the one I was going to take so I'm not actually stressed about getting holy sites down just yet. We're going to wait until later in the game where we need to use the faith for the culture and we're going to sort of adopt their own religion I guess so it shouldn't actually be too bad a situation this. Um, yeah, one turn. La Rochelle is about to flip, but that's, I mean, it is what it is. It's just dramatic ages for you. We should be able to take the city back pretty quickly. I hope with my units. I've got a few units. Well, we'll see. It's, yeah, it's going to be harsh. Am I the only one to go into a dark age? Normally is. Oh, we admire the way you've done it. Yeah, everyone else is in a flipping golden age. Ugh, just awful. I do just absolutely love how La Rochelle is actually kicking out negative loyalty for me. Oh, delightful. But hey, the good thing is that I only need 15 era score in the next 40 turns in order to not get into a dark era this time. So, so we should be good. I'm going to send my settler over this direction this time. I think getting settlers out, getting the infrastructure out, all of this is going to be super important. I think maybe we can take over that city state. I'm just thinking of, of whether or not and Garns and Gamu is going to be something that we really want to let loose on this map or not. I mean, realistically, culture is what I need because I need to get to theatre squares as soon as I can. So do we want to just, just get the old god obelisk up and running quickly? Although actually, no, before that, let's, oh, I never build it. There's no point because there's no food. Oh, no, there is food over here. OK, come on, run. Keep it together. Builder. I wouldn't normally bother settling so close to myself, but at this point, I mean, just actually getting a city down is going to be an achievement in itself. We just need to make sure that we've got some cities that we can we can rely on here. Just anything. Oh, Fountain of Youth, which gives me a relic. And then I also find the Hermetic Order. Okay. All of those things are lovely, but I need to first get myself more culture is the biggest thing. And then we go to grants from there. Just need... Paris needs some population in it. I mean, look, the enemy is actually losing the same sort of level. I've just lost my slinger, which is really annoying. But look, they've only got three pop in their capital as well. Six pop down there. So, so yeah, it, it, it is a it is a low pop start. That much is 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 fair. If I just kill you, and I can move one further up and then settle. 
that's a little better. Okay, can we take out this guy if I go to there? And then we'll bump like that. Yes, I can. Okay, La Rochelle is now totally surrounded. That is a good thing. One attack and then two attacks and then hopefully the Heavy Chariot can finish it in. That's the city taken back. Oh, thank God. Right, we've got it back. We have it back. Oh, and I just say now Leon is totally surrounded, which is very inappropriate with a battering ram outside. Oh my God. The barbs are not messing around this game. They really are not. Oh, another meteor shower. Again, the game thinks it's cheating. It's giving me a little bit of a break. I, I will take, I will take its pity. I really will. You know, the barbs are actually losing organization. They're, they're sort of throwing themselves at multiple cities at once, which is actually reasonably entertaining. Colonialization, do I want settlers or do I, I think actually I just need to keep, keep the, um, the production going against my units at the moment just because I'm just about managing now to get this all sorted. I have enough levied military strength from all of the city-states um, or from Candy particularly that is, is beautifully working and actually this city-state managed to survive the Persian assault which is quite entertaining. Um, grants, let's get research in to start with and then we'll get grants because I don't actually have any districts at all at the moment. Um, there is drama and poetry, that's what I want. I think it's this way. Which way is it? Oh no, we can actually just start doing that now. Drama and poetry, 17 turns away. Okay, we need some old god obelisks in, I believe, in order to start getting the culture up a bit. Oh look, open borders, people are just chucking money at me for open borders, that's great. Of course you can. Lovely. Right, friendship with Ethiopia. Good. Right, we've made friends with both people. They are pitying us. I think the computer's like, there's no, there's literally no threat here. There's no risk of anything untoward happening because Ryan is just so incapable of playing Civ. I think that's literally what they're saying right now. So I will, I will take that. That's great. This city state is surviving and that is wonderful. I love to see that. Ottomans. All right. The Ottomans are the, are quite aggressive actually. And they're vampires. Oh, they're the one the one out of the sort of the leftovers odd one out of this sort of thing but they will take a delegation okay and i can't just immediately friend them but are they going to offer me a good deal on uh, diplomatic favor no everyone's just offering me like 11 gold per turn at the moment which is really like terrible never mind luckily for me though it's archer time so this is where i start pinning back the barbarians a little bit well i say that up until the point that the barbarians fling crossbows at me, which is normally about what happens about this sort of time. All right, can I get rid of these barbarians this turn? I think I may actually be able to do that. Okay, Paris is kind of three now. We need to find this encampment, which is there. That's great, we found it. Okay, let's get rid of this damn thing. Let's see what's in the tribal hut. State workforce, of course it is. What else is gonna be in there? I think a lot of this game is going to be, can I steal Persia's cities? We just need to sort of stay on top of them, stay in the sort of the general area and see if we can just pinch all their stuff. It's going to make such a big difference. There's a barb camp done. Lovely. And can I take advantage of when they invariably lose a city through their Dark Age? Because I've had my Dark Age. I got it over with early. I'm hoping we can, we can keep positive from this point on. It's all about era score management. I'm saving some of my big era scores, like getting into a boat for the first time, for instance, and putting down the Chateau district, the Guard Imperial, all of these things that I've got up my sleeves in order to sort of do a little bit. So I'm hoping, hoping we've got some options. Friendship, yes. So Persia and Ethiopia are gonna be friends for life here, actually. It's the Ottomans are gonna be the ones that are a bit of a pain. 40 gold from the tribal heart, that's not bad. I'll take that. Appease the gods. Do we actually know where a volcano is? Have I seen a volcano yet? Don't know if I have. Let's have a quick search. Volcano. No, we don't know where a volcano is. That is going to be possibly the most, what's the biggest issue really with this whole thing, but never mind. Minor resource. Uh, some quarries over there, but I don't think I've got anything to mine actually. No, it's been a very strange start. I mean, it's, I've both got lots of luxuries and also, well, sorry, I'd, I'd say like resources to do stuff with, but also hardly any. Very odd. Another 40 gold in the tribal huts. We're finding all the tribal huts now. Now that I don't need the era score. Where were these ages ago? Ugh. Oh, 
you know, as a full population. I, these missionaries are kind of just stuck here. I, I want, I want their religion because I want to feed the world. Feed the world is a fantastic religion. So I might actually just, I'm going to build the holy site in the hope that I can get that feel of the world in. Although the theatre square I kind of probably want to do first, so we'll kind of hold that for a second. Too many choices. Okay, lost Candy's military, but that was a good, that was a good purchase actually. I'm glad we did that. It would have been really, really tough to keep hold of everything had we not done that. Persia are real, still really trying to go after the city-state. Like, okay, I, I mean, I don't think we're going to be able to keep it, are we? But, oh, we've actually lost Candy. Oh, rubbish. Maybe we should just, like, kill all the city-states. Is that, is that really the option for us? Um, let's just send a trade route over here briefly, just because it gives me currency, but also an extra envoy, just in case it does survive. One turn until drama and poetry. Let's treat ourselves to one more builder. That's nice for now. They're going to go after it? Oh, they're going after the units rather than it, uh, the city itself. Oh, and they're actually starting to settle near me again, Persia. Again, I don't quite mind that, but now is the time for theatre squares. Right, let's get these things down immediately. I need as many of these things built as quickly as I physically can. Troops are merely passing by. Look, also, they've done that because my troops are now stood by their borders because they've literally just settled near me. What do you expect? I was here first. Oh, not taking that. All right, there is one more governor. We've now got double great people points coming in into Paris. That's good. I'm going to be using a lot of the gold in order to get that first amphitheater going so I can just rush the great writers. We're only now 12 turns away from the next era. If I can get Persia into a dark era, we may be able to do something here. Although actually, I could, I'm just sort of waiting near this city state because I could kill it myself. If I go after it and take it, then I can sort of stop Persia from stealing it. Because I'm not going to declare an emergency, although Persia might declare an emergency on me if, if, they, if I were to do that, which is not great. Oh, no, right, Persia just wiped it out. I was actually waiting to see if I could steal it, but nope, they were like, you know what? That city-state needs to burn. Sure, it's a little scary that, but, but okay. Oh, more floods. In Paris, unfortunately, that's not particularly good. Okay, we're about to get the theatre square done, though. There we go. It's a political philosophy. Let's get classical republic going. Lovely. Okay. Right, 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 right. Great writer points. In we go. I think that's better than any of the Dark Age things. Um, yes, it is at the moment. Urban planning is fine, but I need to get in settlers uh quickly and we need to go for plus two influence points to get that one going as well appease the gods no one appease the gods because there is no volcano on this map you know it's the only problem 600 gold 600 gold for an amphitheater do people want favor yet is anyone buying this yet yes they are so 10 right let me just see who wants to buy it for the most okay the ottomans don't want to buy it for anything so i'm just going to split it 40 40 with my allies nine gold per turn that's great but will you give me some of that gold up front because i need it quickly yeah actually that's a good deal that's a good deal as well and then i'll sell the rest to persia just because he gives me a little bit gold per turn but in 597 so next turn i can just buy in an amphitheater that is really handy yeah, we're already getting 4.6 points per turn but when the amphitheater comes in that's going to be like maybe seven points per turn now, because don't forget I've got my Pantheon as well, giving me more writer points. That's really cool. There we go. Here's the holy site in Paris. It will make a big difference. Um, do I actually chop down? I'm just going to go chop down the woods. I don't like to do that too much unless I'm going for a distinct chopping strategy. Eastern Orthodoxy is being spread. Come on, Persia, get your religion down into Paris. This is oh, so infuriating. Your missionaries have just stood there. Like absolute, like blank idiots unsure what to do with themselves anyway okay so Tushpa lost one city that's cool I'm in a golden age okay so it's just Persia just Persia that are in a dark age now we'll keep an eye on this and see if we're the ones that can take it over hopefully because I'm in a golden age it'll be me that steals it and in the meantime let's just get ritual to convert some of that faith in just a little bit of science culture and gold it's not going to make a huge difference, but it is a difference. And chop this forest down for the holy site. 
four turns on that. I just need them to spread the correct religion to me and I can start feeding the world. Okay, Eleanor, for me, um, yep, new district's built by me and then we'll go production on the old building of units just in case I need to do that. Okay, do you see that? Persia is going to steal their city back with loyalty pressure. So we can't wait for that to happen passively. Our army needs to charge forth. Weirdly, I actually have the biggest army on the map at the moment. That is very, very odd a situation that you would see there. I'm going to this eight writer points coming in per turn. That's all very, very nice. We've got seven turns on this three city to get all our army in. That should be possible. Um, we're just making sure that we can bring everything in like so. Stop attacking us, please. Thank you very much. Claim a great person. There is the first great writer. Nice. Okay, let's get this done. I'm just trying to think of what is There's a palace and an old god obelisk. Yeah, yeah, of course there is. Of course there is. Right, um, within nine tiles, Leon is probably the best place to have. No, I don't want to remove him from the game. Oh, yeah, Leon, I think, is going to be the best place for you. All right, there we go. City sieged. Let's go. We've got a new source of iron. Oh, lovely. And, oh, actually, I'm settled on some iron. Phew. That is actually quite handy. Okay, so we've got the first great writer coming in. Second one is coming in now. It's going to take a few turns, actually. I missed out on some of the really early game writers, I think, which isn't the best, but never mind. This uh, Boudicca might be quite good to get involved, actually, converting barbarian units to my side. I have to think about doing that. Oh, man. They're still building units, and Persia are still um, settling, which is sort of a little bit annoying. But we're, we're, we're still getting our units in. We've got five turns to try and make a dent on the city. Hopefully, if we just hold fire just for a second, I can, I can, we can do this. We've got, we've got the army. We just need to time it well. Oh, yeah, the shrine is getting me culture. That's okay. Whilst I'm on the wrong religion, which is Eastern Orthodoxy in my capital, that's okay. Islam is now founded as well, dominant in one city. I'm intrigued to see if the other two religions let that one survive. Rebellion in two turns. All right, we've actually got to be a little bit quick here. Um, there's a risk this city might flip if I don't take it by force. But we, as I said, we've got units in the area. I think next turn we can put the pressure in and maybe just steal it. One turn. One turn of loyalty. These two archers hit. Okay, this warrior comes in and hits. We've got this heavy chariot, which should stay alive. We've got this one which should stay alive and this scout which should hopefully take it yes keep city uh keep it rebellion in 17 turns that's fine i should hopefully have i got anyone that can sort of take an envoy or give me an envoy soon recorded history three turns yes absolutely that's a great shout okay getting builders in we've got charismatic leader oh monumentality i can use my faith in order to get these things. Okay, that is wonderful. Right, we'll get rid of uh, settlers then and we'll put in the um, monumentality. That's a great idea. That is absolutely wonderful because then I can use all this faith, which is, I mean, I was umming and ahhing about whether or not I used it on like Boudicca or, or sort of these sort of things, but it's actually no point. I should instead be using this on settlers. 280 faith, that's great. It means I can actually build two settlers just sort of off the bat. Um, in fact, Paris, let's just get this one done as well. Eight turns now until that one's fixed. Okay, good, but that's two more cities. That's wonderful. We like that a lot. We like that a lot. Right, holy site, let's just get this down. Come on, you need to fix yourselves. You need to be decent, decent cities. Let's also just get Magnus in now into my new city. That'll make it loyal, lovely. Okay, we just need to focus on making this city the best it can be. So some faith into that and a couple of turns to get a builder in. And we're going to just start cutting down everything in the area um, and, and sort of taking the city into to what I need it to be effectively. So I've got that settler going over in that direction now. Okay, this is good. This is good. We're starting to improve stuff now. Okay, there's Bordeaux. This should be a really good city quickly. I'm hoping. We'll see about that one. Uh, there's a builder. Okay, good, 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 good. You come to there and chop that forest down, which means I can now put the holy site in there. Okay, right. 
Let's just get these cities decent. We've got um, still eight writer points coming in per turn. That's good. I don't think anyone else has bought any great writers at the moment. If they have, we just need to keep an eye on it because we can buy all of the great works and just sort of go from there. We settle too close? Nah. Um, we'll take, should we take the favor though? Or should we take, yeah, we'll take the favor. Why not? This time I'm gonna settle on top of the wine. Oh, again, that's gonna be a pretty good city. Iron working, civil service. Okay, civil service is good. That is really, really good. It means we can now um, set up alliances. Like you can see the religion is, I'm getting the right one slowly. The holy sites are being popped down, um, but alliances. Now I don't want a cultural alliance. That is a terrible idea. But what I would do is have a religious alliance. No, that's just not a good idea. Let's go for an economic alliance. Yeah, why not? And Ethiopia, let's go for, uh, they're not liked. Should we go for a military alliance with them? Yes, let's see that. Okay, wonderful. So we've got lots of alliances popping up now. We are locked in diplomatically. It's not going to work very well for the Ottomans. But I do want to be friends with them. So maybe I send them a deal that they would consider to be good on them. What would they do for that? What would you give me? I actually don't have enough. Okay, I'll take what you've got. That will be a nice favourable deal to them plus five. Yeah, okay. And I'm going to just chuck them... Um, some of that at you as well. Plus eight, plus eight, plus eight, plus three, plus three. Okay, hopefully they'll be, they'll like that. Um, let's go for another great writer. Wonderful. And let's just plonk you down as we've been doing thus far. Good. Yes, yeah, so we're continually chopping and chopping and chopping. This city already is beginning to thrive. Let's just get that old god obelisk up and running. Actually, no, save that. Let's get the holy site up and running quickly. Lovely. Let's pop you there. Extra envoys. Okay. Should we put Ah uh, Terrigo to Preslav? What does Preslav do? Plus two loyalty. No, that's really rubbish. Monastery improvements are okay. Uh plus five cents. I mean, okay, none of these are very good to be fair. Let's just stick you in these ones. I mean hopefully that helps me to just sort of get a couple of bits and pieces up. Um yeah, nothing nothing's really that exciting for me at the moment. There's military training, wonderful. We're starting to get some decent bits and pieces going now. Okay, Paris is good. Let's just keep on getting those builders up and running just so I can continue to sort of inflate ourselves a little bit. I could do with exerting just a little bit more force, but until we build our culture up and until I start to get um, artists up and running, it's gonna be a little bit tough. Eleanor is always a bit of a slow burner, but my god, when you get to those later stages of the game, it is amazing. Plus, I'm just buying in old god obelisks where I can and moving things so that I'm exerting slowly more pressure into Persia. Hee hee hee. Now, here we go. Building shrines. Lovely, then I can actually get some missionaries going and start spreading it to my capital. Taurus is going to be the first way in. I'm just This is the city I'm, I'm trying to target. Eleanor can get there. She's really, really good at putting the pressure on. But we just need to keep working at it. Still settling, which is nice. I've now got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cities. Seven of your finest cities. Could be better though. Oh, Suleiman, actually, I can get friendship with. So let's go for a research alliance with you. So I'm actually in alliance with everybody now. This is good. My safety is sort of pretty much guaranteed at this point which is a really nice place to be. Okay, temple is looking good there. How many turns? Shrine two turns to get a missionary in, actually. So we'll just wait on our faith, but then I can keep getting builders in as needed. Yeah, we're actually starting to surround Persia in a little bit here, which is not bad. They're doing really, really well. 132 science per turn. So we're gonna have to start eating into their cities. But again, I'm playing the longer game because I know but down the line, I've got um, cultists on the way. And cultists I can use to do some huge, devastating loyalty issues. Oh, okay, right. My chariot is now embarked. I'm just going to turn a blind eye to that one and just say, sure, if that's what you want to do, you do that. There's the missionary. All right, all right, all right, all right. We should be doing pretty good. 53 faith per, uh, per turn now. That's not bad, really, is it? Not bad at all. Granary... Watermill, just get those done in my capital. 
everything's starting to come together now. Um, in fact, actually, should we do the same thing? Let's get the water mill going and then the amphitheater. 10 turns and we need eight era score. Actually, that's not too bad. It could be a lot worse than that. Holy sight. Um, plank yourself down there. Yeah, please. Thank you very much. Um, let's just quickly start to rush this stuff through and then we'll get the horses going. Okay, right, now this missionary, I think you can get to Paris. Okay, next turn though, next turn we can start spreading. Ho oh, ho ho, I'm so excited. Okay, I would like view grievances and I would like culture bombs still. Thank you very much. Let's just vote for myself on all of these things. Um, nobody actually voted really. Menelik though won one of the votes. Ugh, how frustrating. Um, Menelik is also sieging the Ottomans with pike and shots and cavalry. Oh, that's a that's worryingly far down the tech tree. I don't like that at all. Okay, it starts spreading this. We're going to lose the culture per turn coming from the shrine and the temple, but the feed the world I think is much much better. God, these vampires! What are you even what are you even doing? You just stood outside watching the city get assaulted. You're going to have to be much more helpful if you're going to you know use your undead powers to save that place. It's very disappointing. Right, this missionary, um, keep on spreading, and I've got another great work there. Okay, that's all great. I just need one more farm, I think, um, to boost feudalism. Oh no, not one more farm. I need another one. Let's pop one down here. There we go. There's feudalism boosted. Okay, we're going to get some better builders in now. A nice trade route to Tarsus there. Beautiful. Extra gold for me. Come on, spread the religion. Whoa. Oh yeah, right now the food per turn, once I've adjusted this and the housing, yeah, Feed the World is well underway now. Okay, Paris should be a beautiful growing city very, very soon. In fact, actually, what era are we about to go into? Medieval into Renaissance? I think it's industrial, isn't it? Yeah, indoctrination is industrial. So we can afford to give Magnus some provision and uh, get some more settlers going. What sort of governments have we got going? Nothing that I really need at the moment, unfortunately. Um, should we go for guilds? Build two markets again. I don't have any commercial hubs. I'm always very bad at building commercial hubs. It's always been a weakness of mine, but that's okay. Um, we've got all of our books going quite nicely. Actually, you know what? I need to put that in the temple because then I could, in theory, be putting that down. Does Bordeaux actually have any space in it? It doesn't. That's appalling. How have we not done that? Right, come on. There you go, that's the sort of deal I want. 175 gold up front. So I can go bonk with the old god obelisk and then go blonk. Okay, good. More faith, more culture, more brilliant. Serfdom, in you come. Urban planning is intriguing. I don't know if I want that one though. Monumentality is still pretty good. Yeah, actually. Let's get the holy site bonuses instead. Um, it doesn't give me too much, but it's a little bit more something. So again, I'm using holy, or using faith to purchase in builders and things like that at the moment, which is good. Right, um, let's get a builder in there. I think which city needs the builder most? Rems. Oh, Bordeaux, no, Bordeaux desperately needs one. Oh, and La Rochelle has finally got its shrine together. Come on, you, you as a city have not been doing very well at all. I don't want to use the word failure, but I mean, you haven't been great thus far. Look, Ethiopia, of all the cities you want to convert, why are you converting my capital? Stop it! Uh, I mean, I, I guess at least, at least it's going to be more um, culture for us. So it doesn't really matter which of these two religions it is. And Paris has got a pretty decent amount of population in it already, but it could have got bigger. I want it to feed the world. Mm. Do I do I save up and get an apostle of my own and fight them off? I can't get an apostle. Of course I can't. It's not my religion. Or can I? Or can I? Is it because I haven't got a temple? It's because I haven't got a temple. Oh, right then. Well, I could get an apostle here then. 450. You know what? I'm tempted to. I'm tempted to fight them off and tell them to get lost. Although, do I really care? Do I really care? That'd be some culture. I've got the food coming in on my other cities. I could just use the time to get some more builders in. That's more constructive rather than getting into a religious war. Because, I mean, look at all these apostles coming over. Yeah, you know what? Fine. Fine. 
I, whatever religion you give me, that's fine. As long as I just have a religion. I don't want to be in that state where I'm sort of between religions. That would be atrociously annoying. Yeah, well, there we go. That's the uh, culture given to me again. So we've got a uh, temple and shrine. Six, it's like six culture per turn. It's not, it's not the best, but it's something and that's what counts. Oh, by the way, we're on 77 out of 76 and we've got one turn left. So we scraped that. Oh, oh. oh yeah, right, monumentality. I don't think there's anything we can do with this one just yet. Holy site. Holy site's rubbish. It's really not giving me anything. Should we go for, oh, I haven't even unlocked industrial zones. <laughs> that's really what I should have been doing. Uh, theatre square is own adjacency. I mean, I might get a little bit more. Yeah, like two culture more. It's not really worth it either. Ah, uh, oh well. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, and Matthew Wilkinson for all of your support on Patreon, as well as everybody else who likes the video, comments, joins Discord, and generally makes this community really good fun. Thank you very much, guys. You keep me going.